Um, I think the walk was a great success. It was wonderful to see so many people come out on an early Saturday and it's a, it's a hot day, but a lot of people came out and they showed their support and um, it was just great to see everyone, the participants and the volunteers alike, and also to have our Embrace Relief team back together, all together after the pandemic. So it's been like a whole reunion of sorts, so it's really nice. Right, so we know as humanitarians that there are always crises going on around the world. And in an ideal world, uh, there would be none, but there are. But so often, everyday life gets, um, get, gets, distracts us that we don't think about the bigger problems or it's difficult for us to see the bigger pictures. So it's really great to have opportunities like today to come together to address a global issue and get people involved to make a real impactful change. So. You know, it's, it's really difficult to sometimes think about how far someone actually needs to walk and the conditions they're walking in when we are so used to just being so lucky that we can just get up and walk a couple feet or into the next room to a faucet. So, yeah, it's really a day about gratitude and um, definitely, definitely heard a lot of people respond positively about learning about some of the conditions that these women and children are walking in and how much they have to carry. Uh, the heat they have to walk in, how far they have to walk, the condition they're walking in, usually barefoot, unfortunately, which is uh, leads to another group of problems, such as spine, neck, and back injuries. So definitely people, people have gotten a glimpse into what their life is like. So our goal for the end of this year, 2022, is to complete 250 water wells. So far, we've raised enough funds to complete 70 water well reconstruction projects. And by the end of this month, we project that we will complete or raise enough to complete 100 water well reconstruction projects. So that leaves 150 water wells until we reach our goal of 250. But we know that with uh, people's support and rallying around this cause to continue, uh, that we can get that done. And so we really encourage our uh, supporters, our donors, people who are just hearing about us, anyone who is uh, learning about the water crisis that's going on, to educate yourselves, get involved, advocate, give if you can, get involved and just, um, you know, try to do what you can as a single person.